No, folks, well, there's the English village where um, Google, uh, near Street View thing or whatever it is, they, uh, <laughs> the uh, villagers went, Nah, we don't really want you down our village, down our street. Um, so they, they sort of, no, uh, 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 there was a bit of a whatever. And um, one of the subscribers says, What do you reckon on that then, Dave? I thought, well, I don't know. People go round taking pictures, don't they, of um, streets and stuff like that. And you think, on the surface, and uh, uh, allegedly in the newspaper report, they says, well, most people don't mind. You think, don't they? And um, we think, Google have spent a lot of money, presumably, on a car, camera system, people to run it all, fuel to run it all. So there must be some commercial profit in what they're doing, yeah? That's a bit different than if you're on holiday, you go down, you're in this town, you go down the street, you think, oh, might take a picture of that, might not be anything special, but you might have had a nice time, might be near where you're staying, you think, oh, I'll, take, uh, I'll, I'll just take a picture of that. Yeah? And, and it might end up on the Wibbly Wobbly Web, you might have some holiday snaps, you just put them on the Wibbly Wobbly Web, but the format of your stuff is going to go sort of like, well, here's me holiday snaps in whatever. It's not it's not going to be particularly searchable, is it? You know, might have picture 10245, picture 10246, and that might be on Dave's holiday snaps, yeah. <laughs> so it's not, yeah, it's a bit different, isn't it? And then Mr. Ugu Zapdi, who had his holiday in England, he might uh, put some up, and it might all be in Japanese for his family to see where he came to England and stuff like that and somebody else might have a bit somewhere else that's not quite the same as if you got Google what is one assumes doing it for some sort of commercial um, thing and they're saying well yeah but it's for it's for really old um, it's for the for it's for it's 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 um, that, that, that the most people don't mind. I don't know if they've done a survey. Maybe they have. I don't know. But I thought, well, they probably wouldn't like it if we went with our cameras and started poking around their backyard. They might say, oh, you might see something sensitive, commercial, commercially sensitive. Our competitors, we don't want them knowing that. And you might think, well, there could be some inventor or uh, in in their backyard, front yard, whatever. They got whatever it is they've invented on their front lawn. And the old Google camera thing could come along, take its photographical type, whatever it's taking. Somebody could see that and go, oh, oh, I could do that better quicker. Bump, bump, bump sorted yeah and the struggling inventor might lose out might they or you might say well that's not very likely Dave okay it's not very likely I'll tell you what is likely it's a lot of little shops and small businesses what can appear bigger than what they is by having a nice website and a lot of little shops and businesses and stuff like that that they they um, sell stuff on the wibbly wobbly web, and people assume they're bigger than they are, which gives the people the confidence what is to buy the stuff off their site. Yeah. Now the old days, you before the internet, you'd have had to wander down a street, and maybe the st the business might have sold some of its stuff through travelling salespeople. Or it might have uh, sold it through various shops, 
or the or there might be a shop what did deliveries and stuff like that. So, so maybe the image that they present wasn't quite so important because it was more local, wasn't it? It's not not so much this global stuff, see. So nowadays, some people, if they went, if they was going to buy something, they might say, "Oh, I'm buying it from that company. I wonder what they're like." They're down whatever street. Let's have a look. De look, look at that on 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 the Google thing, and they might go, oh, "Cool, that's a rundown old place. What they're operating out of. Oh, I don't know if I want to buy stuff from them." Now they might be a perfectly respectable, very good company. What invests more of their money back into their internal stuff, and don't. M m bother much about their frontage, or they might not. Have <coughs> they might be wanting to make their premises a bit more smarter, but they might not have the money because of the recession. But somebody could go along and have a look and go, "Oh, I don't like that. I'm not buying from them." And so their competitors, what might have a nicer looking premises. They might not be a better company, but they might have a better looking premises. What will give the impression that they are a better company, and that they might they might get more business, might they? And the other people might lose out. They might they might go under, might they? Simply because somebody who wouldn't normally have seen what the premises was looking like can go on the old street view and go, oh, what a dump. <laughs> I ain't buying from them. Because people do, don't they? I mean, you could have a decent, honest, hard-working person who comes along and says, yeah, do you want me to fix this or do that? If that person's scruffy, you go, oh, well, um, I'll think about it. But if someone turns up all smart with a posh van, you go, oh, oh, well, they must be doing very well because they wouldn't have that posh van otherwise. I'll give them my business. Now, they might have a posh van because they've been to the, to the old uh, bank and said, here, give us a bank loan. And the bank's given them a loan and they bought a big posh van with a nice sign. They might... They might be inexperienced and the only good thing about them is... is is the way they look whereas the scruffy old bloke with a beat up old van might have been doing it for decades but you'll go oh well oh, do I want that scruffy no because most people it's all about it's superficial isn't it I'm not saying there ain't some scruffy people <laughs> do scruffy work because there are but a lot of the engineering type people they're more interested in the job they're doing than whether they meet the latest fashion criteria, aren't they? <laughs> I mean, they are, aren't they? So it, it it's just it's just nature, isn't it? Human nature. So um, there's a lot of downsides, I can say. and also, of course, the government could go along and go, oh, let's look at all this street view thing, and then they could have a look at various streets and they could come up with some revenue generating ideas couldn't they I mean, <laughs> or, or the insecurity services not that they plan any false flag operations but it could give them some ideas couldn't it they could say oh oh I don't know about that oh yeah yeah because yeah. <laughs> anybody in the know knows about the right stag fire knows that Sometimes some of these people, what is supposed to be working for us, ain't working for us. <laughs> They're working for somebody else. <laughs> they ain't nice people. So um, yeah. So I don't know. That's uh, just sort of a few musings on it. <laughs> anyway, cheers for now.